Hi everyone, in a certain town, three newspapers are published. 20% of the population read A, so let's uh, label our Venn diagram A, and B uh, is 16%, uh, and C is 8%, and then we're given more information. And 2% read all three newspapers. So that would be, um, that would go inside here. That means all three, that's zero point, whoops, zero two. So what we wanna do is fill this out. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna label, again, we have A, B, and C, and this was zero point zero two. So let's uh, label some of these as A, B, um, let's call this C, D, E, and F, and then G. And solve for all these um, here, given our information. So if we start with D, we know that um, we have 4% <coughs> uh, read A and 4% uh, read B and C. So if they read B and C, that's going to be D. So we know D plus, or these, both of these. So D plus 0 0.02 equals 4%. Uh, so that's 0 0.04. So D is going to equal 0 0.02. So I'm going to change this to 0 0.02. And this was our D. I'll put D. Now, um, what does it say for, um, we're working backwards here. So now it says 5% read A and C. So A and C is 5%. Well, that's these two that read both of them. So you're going to write C plus 0 0.02 equals 5%. So C equals 0 0.03. So let's write that in, 0 0.03. All right, working backwards again, we have um, 8%. So what is the 8%? 14% um, reads or eight percent read a and b let's look at that piece so eight percent read a and b so that would be uh a and b is these two so you're going to write zero point let's just write b first b plus zero point zero two equals um eight percent or zero point zero eight Therefore, B is 0 0.06. So this is going to be 0 0.06. So we got the inner uh, parts done. Now it said 14% read C. I'm erasing that. I'm working backwards. 14% read C. So here's your C, this whole thing. So you're going to, uh, to get um, F, you're going to say 0 0.03 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 plus F equals 14% or 0 0.14. And when you solve for F, you're going to get F equals 0 0.07. So this is 0 0.07. All right, now working backwards, we have 16% read B. So you're going to do the, the same thing to get that, to get E. So you add everything up, 0 0.06 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 plus E equals 0 0.16. So E is going to equal 0 0.06. So 0 
and squeeze in the last one, it says 20% uh, of the population read A. So this one. So add up all those numbers. 0 0.06 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.03 plus A equals 0 0.2. Um, this is A. So A, when you solve that, is going to be uh, 0 0.09. All right, and after that, to get G, you just take, you add all these up and um, subtract from one. So when you add up everything, uh, you add up all the, the numbers and you subtract from one. So it's going to be one minus um, all the numbers, um, and that's going to give you... Um, the G, and that's going to equal 0 0.65. So there's that. All right, now we can answer our questions. Um, let's make sure I filled everything out. Okay, so now the first question is, um, use the Venn diagram to help determine the probability that the person reads none of the papers. So we already did that when we calculated this. So when you add all this up, all these numbers up, and subtract from 1, you're going to get uh, um, six, 0 0.65. All right. All right. And then number um, B, it says at least one of the papers. So if it's at least one, when you always see that at least, you're just going to do one minus the probability of none of the papers. So we're just going to take one minus 0 0.65 from here and get 0 0.35. All right, the next one says... Uh, exactly one of the papers. So if we just do one, that's these numbers here. So they're either doing A or, or means plus, um, just one of the papers, 0 0.06 or C, which is 0 0.07. <coughs> Excuse me, and that's gonna give you 0 0.22 and the next question, A or B or both? So that's going to be A or B or both. And that's going to be um, 0 0.09, that's A, uh, or B, so or means plus. B is 0, 0 0.06 or both. So, or both of these are these two. So, that's plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.03. And just let me check something real quick. Yeah, I got that. Okay, so when you add all that up, you're going to get, um, oh, we have to add also, uh, another 0 0.06 plus 0 0.02. So basically, you're adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers, and that's going to give you 0 uh, 0.28 for G. All right, and now we have E, A, given uh, that the person reads at least one paper. So A is, um, when you see the given, that means that goes in the denominator. And we already did this uh, number. So at least one of the papers, that was uh, 0 0.35. So you get the given, you put in the denominator. And then the A is just going to be um, 0 0.2. So you're doing... Um, 
at least one paper. So that's going to be 0 0.2 because you add all these up. And that's going to give you 2 divided by 35. And finally, C, given that the uh, person reads either A or B. So that was our D. And our D was um, 0 0.28. So again, we have a given. So that goes in the denominator. And C is going to be um, that they read either both A or C or these two. So you add those two up and you get 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02. And that gives you 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.28. And that equals 1 divided by 7. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.